Hello and welcome to COVID-19 News Bulletin, brought to you by Qatar Media Corporation. The Ministry of Public Health announced 1,732 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 620 new recoveries, bringing the total number of recoveries to 8,513. The Ministry also reported that two people have died from the virus. The Ministry extended its condolences to the families of the deceased. An official from the Ministry of Interior has clarified on the subject of how many passengers should be allowed in one vehicle. Following the Cabinet's decision to limit the number of people inside vehicles, the Ministry says that children also count as passengers. The Director of Public Relations Department at the Ministry of Interior Brigadier Abdullah Al Muftah urges people to follow the Cabinet's decision to limit the vehicle capacity to two people. Brigadier Al Muftah also urged that children should stay at home unless absolutely necessary. Qatar's government communications office has called on people to stay at home during Eid al Fitr. In a video published on the GCO's Twitter account, the office said that people can demonstrate care for their family, friends, and community by adhering to the government's social distancing measures to stop the spread of coronavirus during the Eid holidays. The Qatar Medical Association reviewed efforts made by the health sector to address the pandemic and the role of medical staff working in the front line. This was made during a virtual conference organized by Qatar Medical Association, which gathered around 120 medical staff working in Qatar's different institutions. Qatar University's international seminar discussed the future of higher education institutions after COVID-19. The webinar brought together nearly 300 university leaders and experts from all around the world. Qatar Red Crescent Society has implemented the Ramadan Iftar project in Palestine, distributing food baskets in many villages and towns of the West Bank and Jerusalem. The Qatar Red Crescent has also distributed food baskets to 7,000 displaced people in Yemen. Food baskets were also distributed in Syria, Iraq and Bangladesh. With that, we wrap up today's COVID-19 News Bulletin. For more updates, you can follow us on our social media platforms at COVID-19 Qatar and detailed news can be found on our websites covid19qatar.info. Goodbye for now and stay safe.